hello friends welcome to share market friend again today I am going to cover few basic things related to uh, nifty or NSE uh, option chain uh, you if you are trading into uh, options or you know basic about options you must be knowing the option chain it is uh, chain of options uh, placed in this manner in which it is uh, calls are on the left side and puts are on the uh, right side and in the center lies the nifty or whatever stocks price in uh, steps of 50 or uh, depending on the stock whichever you are opening whichever you are looking at okay so basically I like to show you that there are uh, option chains that people just they think that option chain is for nifty or NSE only but there is option chain for BSE uh, also if you go on BSE website you can find the derivative chain also here but there is not a lot of trading happens so people ignore it that and also you can access uh, option chain related data on various website also if you search on Google or Yahoo related to option you can find option chain uh, the same resource from NAC website presented in different format on various website so we will be concentrating basically on NAC or uh, nifty option chain so if you go on NAC website or uh, or you simply type NAC option chain or Google or Yahoo you can uh, come to this page here if uh, if you also want to go directly by clicking on the options you can click on uh, live market there you can click on live watch and then option chain you can find it here here uh, you can see here on the top of option chain it is for equity derivative view option contract for nifty uh, here are few options like nifty nifty it bank nifty nifty mid 50 so most liquid option chains are those of nifty and bank nifty currently they have started uh, uh, they, are, they are starting weekly options in nifty it also they are currently running in nifty and bank nifty weekly and monthly option contracts for for immediate and uh, three running uh, series okay if you want option chain for particular stock so you can type here if you type reliance industries then you can get option chain for reliance there are around 200 option 200 stocks uh, for for which are traded on traded in uh, fno segment which has option chain that are displayed on nsc website uh, if you click on here expiry date you can see here uh, various option chain dates are mentioned starting from 14th March then 20 March 28 March 4 April to 11 April accordingly depending on the stock and series so currently I am clicking on 28th March which will show nifty monthly option chain you can check out same data for weekly chain also so now uh, here it is indicating the underlying index that is nifty running uh, closed currently at 11,035.40 on 8th of March 2019 here one important button is given that is refresh button actually uh, option data is continuously updating and changing so uh, you won't get the latest or immediate change in this option chain if you directly log into this website and after some time it won't get refreshed so you need to click on this refresh button or uh, refresh the page itself to get the latest data here if you click on the futures contract you can get the futures uh, nifty futures or nifty it or Nif bank nifty future value so column by column I'm going to explain what this uh, basic there are few basic things related to this uh, nifty option chain so first column that uh, people mostly ignore is that this small uh, green cube that indicates uh, option chain value uh, variation graph for that particular uh, option strike so currently uh, in the center it is uh, nifty uh, values it is uh, for it is with a difference of a distance of 50 uh, points if you can see it, the median is at 11,000 then 10,950 decreasing 10,900 decreasing 10,850 and also in the same manner increasing with 50 points 11,050 strike 11,100 strike 11,150 strike on the right side uh, the same columns are there like on the left side these yellow columns are those of uh, in the money options those are uh, currently if nifty is running at 11,000 then all below uh, strikes of calls are called as in the money option strikes and above currently running strike uh, options are called as out of money options and same 
uh, and up in the opposite manner uh, all the options above currently running 11,000 or current strike where nifty is running all above options uh, those are called as in the money put options and below that are called in the money uh, out of money put options okay so first column is that of this green cube it i have opened this uh, it is a graph between uh, you can see here it is for uh, nifty options value varying throughout day in whatever value it indicated by green nifty value so the here when days moment Increasing and value is decreasing. So it there also and, and uh, yes and fourth column. between open and lot of people the open is showing as uh, what is the use open interest and the buys a uh, Of, uh, of underlying contract transaction whenever interest so it was 18 lakh 60 five open in so what is the difference so whenever two parties one open interest is uh, when such one contract is traded on the market uh, one pair buys uh, such contracts uh, to the other pair or such transaction takes place then that is counted into volume so volume is never uh, negative it never uh, it never decreases also so it will keep on increasing only whenever a transaction takes place it will add up to the volume so, but in the case of open interest open interest can decrease its value can decrease uh, it can increase also so according to the variation in the price of uh, underlying kind of nifty or whatever stock you are looking at and depending on the increase in open interest or decrease in open interest you can draw a particular conclusion like uh, there is bullish trend there is a bearish trend or kind of thing that is a quite a complex thing we will try to understand that in different video okay then uh, the third column is for change in open interest whatever change is there in open interest it is indicated by uh, this third column that is change in open interest uh, then volume that i told you and then important column is there that is called as if you put cursor on this it is called as iv that is implied volatility actually this is one of the most important column in this option chain that people generally neglect uh, when I have made one video on wakes and related things if you check on check in the video section on my channel you can find on find into it I have uh, shown formula for calculating implied volatility in that so it is a little bit a complex formula which calculates the overall implied volatility for that particular strike and for that particular time depending on the interest rate depending on the fear in the market depending on the demand and depending on the speed uh, of transaction uh, that basically derived by the fear or greed of for that particular price level okay so whenever this implied volatility increases the next column that is last trader price of that particular uh, strike for 11,000 call it is currently showing as a 174.50 and for implied volatility it is showing 11.85 suppose the implied volatility increases by just one uh, just one uh, value that is if it gets to 12.85 then this last trader price of that particular strike 
uh, impacts significantly and it it increases very sharply so whenever in ma there is a fear in the market there is uncertainty in the market suppose elections are coming election result is coming or any uh, finance related policy is going to come so if that is going to impact that particular uh, option chain that under option chain underlying stock or uh, that index then this implied volatility starts increasing in a fear or anticipation that this price may uh, change suddenly so in turn that increases the uh, price of that particular strike so whenever you are buying a particular uh, option option or if you are selling a particular option you need to pay special attention to this implied volatility because whenever that event finishes this implied volatility suddenly drops it reaches to 8 or 9 from directly uh, from 12 13 it directly reaches to 8 and 9 that is significantly 30 to 40 percent drop in a single uh, day so that impacts the price of option to the extent of uh, 10 to 50 percent uh, depending on situation so uh, that needs to pay attention also you ca that could be treated as opportunity where you can short higher highly uh, volatile uh, st option depending on your strategy so please also before taking any action on uh, trading or or taking position into option chain please refer my disclaimer before uh, below this video uh, next column is net change this basically indicates the change in uh, last trader price of that particular strikes option uh, call the same applies for uh, put side the all uh, all these columns are repeated for put uh, options okay uh, next call next three co next four columns indicate demand and supply for that particular uh, option call option contract suppose somebody is willing to buy this uh, call option at 173.40 then it will reflect reflect into this column and somebody is ready to sell it for 174.95 and he wants to sell there are sellers for that much quantity of 1575 and buyers are only 375 so whenever this transaction between these two buyer and uh, seller take place uh, you can observe that price updated here in the last traded price also you can see that into the graph of that particular strike so that was all basic things about uh, call and put options uh, option chain uh, it is actually a little bit difficult or cumbersome to understand but if you uh, regularly check it every day if you observe it you consider a particular point a particular strike for particular stroke or index and then try to uh, check and verify data compared to yesterday's data then your understanding can imp improve related to this okay uh, this chain ends at 14,100 and it has lowest strike at 7,600 depending on the current uh, running uh, price of the index they show various uh, option chains uh, below this option chain one note is written that is 10 percent interest rate is applied while computing implied volatility so uh, what we have seen in implied volatility that here it is showing 24 then 25 uh, for that calculation interest rate is considered that is in the range of 8 to 10 percent so right now they have considered they are considering 10 percent interest rate for calculation of this option chain uh, you can observe here i will show you one point currently when i'm making this video options are uh, nifty is trading at uh, upper end of 11,000 or the highest it has reached in last six or seven months so there was a lot of volatility in the put side because people were fearing that market may fall so that was that has created higher uh, implied volatility you can see here it is in the range of 12 13 14 15 16 17 but for call this will uh, there is very less possibility that it can rise above 11,000 or even if it rise it won't rise too much so volatility is very less there is a lot of confidence in this side so you can use it it that way uh, please correct me if I am wrong in any of my understanding uh, please share your understanding with me if you have any query or you want to share in thought related to this video you can put in the comments below my video if you like this video you can click on the like and subscribe to the channel and this was all about option chain related basic things I hope you must have liked it I'll try there is a lot of data on this NSC website that is very useful for understanding overall market condition I'll try to cover whatever understanding that I have related to this data with you thank you very much for listening share market friend